Hello and welcome to Wii PC. My name is Jay and today I'm gonna to be building a $1,500 budget PC. Now it's funny because I'm usually one that is filming these videos, uh, but it's Miranda today. Uh, so it's gonna be fun switching it up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the components that are included in this build and why we chose them and why they all work well together. And as always, all of these parts will be in the description down below, just because we like to make things a lot easier for you. And also don't click away because we will be providing live benchmarks at the end of this video. So this is a $1,500 build, so it's not easy to find the right components to fit this price range, especially with the pesky GPU shortage. So we have chosen to use the 3060 Ti in this build based on the regular retail price as we picked it up for around $400, but you can opt to use the 1660 Ti, which will actually place this build at $1,500 at current prices. I do really recommend going for whichever GPU that you can get closest to the original retail price. Don't be spending an arm and a leg. So guys, let's waste no further time. Let's jump into it! Ah! Okay, so we are starting with the MSI X570 Gaming Pro motherboard. Now, you're going to need a reliable motherboard, and the X570 Pro is more than just reliable. This board is packed with lots of features for the price, supporting overclocking, fast RAM speeds, Wi-Fi 6, PCIe 4.0, and expansion slots. For the CPU, we have chosen the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. It comes packing 8 cores and 16 threads, and it has a base clock of 3.6GHz and a boost clock of 4.4GHz. For gamers on a budget or not, the 3700X is absolutely essential. Pair that with 3600MHz RAM and a fast GPU and you'll be loving your new gaming setup. Also, the 3700X comes with its own Wraith CPU cooler. Now, yes, you could choose an AIO2, but this time we are sticking with the budget option as it does an incredible job. For RAM, we're going to be using the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16GB kit. Now, whether you're gaming, streaming or working, we wanted to make sure that you have more than enough RAM capacity and speed to get things done effectively. We have gone for a RAM kit with a speed of 3600MHz to give you optimal speeds for gaming and to future-proof your system a little bit more. With this $1,500 budget, we can treat ourselves to an M.2 SSD instead of a HDD which is much faster and will provide speedy boot times for gaming and seamless workflow. We picked the XPG S50 Lite 1TB as that will allow you to store all your software and your favourite games without any problems. We want to ensure you have a stable and reliable power supply to power your new components. So this is where the Seasonic Focus Gold 850FX PSU comes in. It's 850 watts on this PSU and it's going to be way more than enough to power this build, giving you a little more for future upgrades. For the case, we went for the Fantex Eclipse P500A because not only is it stylish but it also has been built using the highest quality materials to ensure that this case will stand the test of time and it also comes with three 120mm DRGB fans and an open airflow design giving you excellent cooling performance out of the box. The P500A is also very build friendly offering plenty of options for cable management, drive mounting, extra fans and room for a liquid cooling setup if you choose to do so. And lastly, to power your graphical needs, we have gone for one of the latest GPUs from NVIDIA's RTX 30 series, the RTX 3060 Ti. While pushing your frames in eSports titles over 300 FPS in high settings, this card will also smash through your favorite AAA titles and more, giving you everything you need to match a powerful monitor's refresh rate or resolution. So guys, this is our amazing $1,500 PC build. Now it's time to test it out and load up some games. Okay, so I've been playing on this PC overnight, hence the different clothes. This isn't the same day as the last clip. Um, and I've been just playing some games just to see what this thing can truly kind of output. Um, so the first game that we are going to be benchmarking on our list is, of course, Counter-Strike. Uh, it's a very low intensive game, so it is really good for like maxing out what your GPU can do. We are playing on a 2K monitor, so I am going to be benchmarking all the games at 2K resolution. Uh, it is hanging around the 205 mark at the minute, dropping under 200 frames. Did I just get that guy? Oh my god, I'm sick at this game, you know. So as you can see, we're getting around a... It's between the 230 to 240 FPS average. Okay, so we've loaded up Horizon Zero Dawn. This actually has its own inbuilt benchmarking test. So we're going to run that now. We have got this at ultimate quality, which just sounds aggressive. Bear in mind, this is a single player title. So you're really only aiming for 60 frames per second. We are getting a great FPS output here. We're getting around 87... FPS average at 2K resolution, which is a, a, this is an amazing performance. This means you're going to be able to play this at the max fidelity. Okay, so we've switched to one of my favorite games that released this year. It's Resident Evil 8. And um, as you can see here on the screen, it's very close to capping out 
our GPU here. Once again, we're playing this at max settings, of course, as I've said. Um, and it's pulling 80, yeah, about an 80, 80 FPS average. Same with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Still maintaining a comfortable 86 FPS average, which is a really, really great result. Okay, so we've switched over to Metro Exodus. This is the PC enhanced uh, version. So we are running this at ultra quality with ray tracing to test out the RTX capabilities of this card. We are getting high 80s once again. Uh, so again, just a really great performance. It's great to see what the 3060 Ti can do. Um, of course, if you can get your hands on one. So that's our $1,500 build. If you enjoyed it, I would love if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new to our channel. As I previously mentioned, all of the components will be in the description down below if you want to build this for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Jay, and I'll see you in the next one.